So what about the Wirecast Studio and Pro features? You can actually check them out using demo mode inside of Wirecast Free. So that's what we're going to do today. I've already set up the Wirecast Studio and Pro features live event. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and log into Wirecast. So we'll bring up Wirecast. So what about the Wirecast Studio and Pro features? Well, you can actually check them out using Wirecast in demo mode. If you have the free version, you can check these things out. They'll just be watermarked and you won't be able to save the recordings, but we can showcase a little bit about what they do here today. So I've already created a Wirecast Studio and Pro features live event. And so now I'm gonna bring up my Wirecast and make sure we log in. So we'll uh, check those settings and authenticate. and accept and there we go so now it should see my event list and and there we go Wirecast Studio and Pro features is live we'll go ahead and click OK so now that we're inside here I want you to understand that in the free version you can't do a lot of these things like when you click on sources you see that this got a pro next to it or when you want to um, edit your shot. You have uh, an STU for studio. So you have to have those features, uh, the full versions enabled in order to be able to do those. Uh, let's go ahead and try and add a shot of my USB camera 2. And you'll see here it's actually just shooting my iPad here. And that's just to show you another scene as if you had another camera. And it changed both shots. That's because you can't have the two up at the same time. So um, how do you get those other features enabled for demo mode? Well, what you do is just go to sources and choose something that's got a pro next to it, for example. Uh, new scoreboard. Click on that and it's going to say, hey, you got to start uh, a demo and you won't be able to save. And to re reset it back to the free version, all you have to do is um, log out of Wirecast, log back in, and it'll reset. So. Let's check out what the demo does. And when we bring up the source settings here, and I'm going to rename this source, we're going to call it uh, Lesson Scoreboard. And we'll click OK. There's a lot of features on this uh, scoreboard. Uh, there's different types. Um, so you see, there's different ways you can bring it up. When you bring them up, um, there's different modes. Um, for example, on Thin Pipe, you can tell to do a top field and a bottom field and top and bottom so you could have information in any of these and what's neat about this is that the data is um, updated live so I could say this is um, WHHS and this is Gville alright and under look I could change this to where this one's a dark red let's see here so you can see what I'm talking about here so now, how do you adjust some of these things? Well, once we create the source, we can then close it. And any sources that we have created, we can add to one of these layers. So we might want to put that on the layer two layer. So this will arrive above the um, camera shot. And then we have, um, just to add a shot, you just click on this little, uh, like you're adding a camera, and we're going to add the lesson scoreboard. I want you to see that we're getting a Wirecast um, watermark coming up on the screen, and that just goes in and out. So now we can adjust this shot. See, if we were to uh, go ahead and go live and show some of these cameras, you can see how they're sitting on top of each other. And obviously, that scoreboard's way too big. So how do you shrink it back down? Well, go ahead and edit the shot. So you just go Edit Shot, and in your Edit Shot menu, uh, you're going to be presented with this big graphic. Well, this is where you can use your control click or alt click to mess with it. So let's do the alt click and just so alt and then move your mouse um, down is bigger, up is smaller. 
and we can put this uh, down over here. If you use control, you can actually tilt it, so you can make it look kind of 3D-ish. So you see how that looks, right? And um, and then you just click X on it, and there it is. It will update and go down into its position. And so you can see that that overlays. Now the neat thing is, is if you uh, were to go to your sources and show source settings, um, we can pull up the scoreboard here and you can adjust those um, scores right here. We can adjust them. We can say, hey, we just scored a two-pointer. Oh, we followed them. They hit a free throw. And you notice that those fields change automatically. You can also do multiple cameras. So you see I can add um, an extra camera here. So let's go ahead and go to this second one and change the template. And we're going to do, um, how about picture in picture lower right. And for the sources, for B source, we're going to do USB camera. And then we'll switch to that one. And you see now I show up here next to it. So you can do a whole lot of extra features and there's a lot to learn in here. There's a lot of different things. The main thing is you want to understand that these layers show up on top and you switch them just like you switch other things. For example, uh, you can add in, let's see, let's go to source settings here and let's add a... Let's see. You know what? Rather than doing that, let's do a let's do a little shot here, and we'll do a new shot. In this new shot, we will edit the shot. In this shot, we're going to include a lot of features. So let's see. Let's see here. We've got first the template chooser, and let's do a say apply, and then for our a, let's go ahead and bring in a camera and then let's add, how about, let's add some type of graphics. Let's bring up a graphic and let's see. And I'm just going to bring in a, one of these graphics that I already have here. And when you bring that up, you see it's really big. Um, what you can do is is add a second shot on top of it so and then this one we can make it go above so you can raise it above and we can shrink that and, and alter the size of that so let's do um, a shrinking of that look so this is like if you want to put a logo in there um, you want to move it over there's a there's your logo okay so you can set up your shots here you can crop parts um, a lot of extra things you can add in. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And let's see, um, you you have the ability to preview both windows. So if you do window, um, let's see here. Let's bring our camera preview up. And so you have some camera previews you can bring up. So if you have a whole bunch of cameras, you can see what they're what's showing on them. Uh, let's see. You can bring up the um, live versus preview button and so we can switch to this shot right and we can um, tell it to where it's right now it's on auto we don't have to have it on auto we can change that um, but you can adjust those settings so my guess is as you um, get to know some of these features you're gonna find out that there are a whole lot of things that you want to play with and it might be well worth your time to purchase the full Wirecast version. So anyway, I'm going to stop this video and let you play and uh, we'll have fun.